Bonjour les friends. Today we are making a traditional French dessert, a bûche de Noël. It's supposed to look like a Yule log, and it certainly does. Friends, stay tuned. We're going to make it together. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're doing it right now together. Okay, friends, let's make it. Now, this is not a kind of recipe you're going to make in three minutes. Eh? Take your time, relax, have a little glass of wine <laughs> or two. <laughs> no, be careful. Don't drink too much. All right, friends, we got seven eggs, the white and the yolks. <laughs> That's usually how they come, right? White and the yolk. Very, very important that the yolks, the white be at room temperature, friends. The yolk, you keep it in the fridge until you're ready to go. But this, this right there, room temperature, right? So, and make sure, and I tell you all the time, no yolk in the white. It's okay to have a little white in the yolk, but no yolk in the white. We should make a song. No yolk in the white. Never mind. All right. Uh, quick, seven whites. We're going to start whipping them slowly, and we're going to put a, a, a quarter teaspoon of um, uh, cream of tartare. It'll stabilize them. It'll help them stay. You don't have it, don't worry about it. Pinch of salt. You'll never know it's in there. But it's important. It gives you the a je ne sais quoi. All right, let's beat them up. Let's get going. We ain't got all day. And then what we're going to do, friends, we're going we're gonna, to uh, make the, uh, the, the egg white. We're going to beat them like a meringue. And then we're going to clean the bowl. And then we're going to do the yolks. And we're going to cream the yolks, and I'll show you and then we put the dry ingredients. You know, while I'm waiting for this, if you notice, it's, it's quite yellow. And you don't put the sugar until you start not seeing any more yellow, when it starts to turn white. Cake flour. I got it right there. I'll give you the exact measurement down there, friends. Remember, below the recipe, there's a link. It says, show more. Click it, and you'll get a, a, a link to, uh, to our website, all the free recipe are on there. Let me get something to bang this. So then I, uh, I just want it. It's easier cocoa powder sometime. And, and why am I putting cocoa powder? Because I'm gonna make a, a, a darker cake, if you will, not a vanilla looking cake. Oh, mamma mia, look, look, look. Sh see the sugar, we can start putting the sugar now. Because the egg white is starting to form, the bubbles are very small, then you can put your sugar. For the whole recipe right there, for the cake recipe, it's a cup, a half a cup divider, quarter cup for the yolk, quarter cup for the white, okay? We're gonna make, make the meringue, then we're gonna clean the bowl, and then friends, we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna make the cake. All right, very simple, okay? Boom, now. With this we're going to use later. We're not going to use it right now. Let's beat the white. Make sure it's not too much. Let's see what we got here, friends. I want a, a soft meringue. It's a little too soft. So just a little bit more. But we don't need to beat them too much. Usually wait until they finish turning before you open up your mixer. Just a little bit more. See, I want them to be a soft peak. And the peak we're referring to, friends, this is the peak. And the soft, you see, it's a soft peak. Because if it's a hard peak, it's, uh, it's difficult to incorporate it. So it's a soft peak, you see? Okay, so my friends, I'm gonna clean the bowls and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna cream the egg and we're gonna finish the cake, okay? Be back in a second. Okay, friends, uh, egg white are ready to go. Now the yolks, and the yolks, we wanna cream them. And what I mean by that is we're gonna cream them until they change the color to butter. You know it's gonna be good if it's gonna look like butter. It's gonna look like butter, but it's not gonna be butter now. And we're gonna put a little sugar in there, friends. And we're gonna cream the eggs. And then, we're gonna put a little bit of vanilla. I'm putting um, one tablespoon of Tahitian vanilla. That's my favorite vanilla, but you can put whatever vanilla you got. And a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt. 
We're gonna let that queen, okay? It's gonna take a minute or two. So I'll come back in a minute. Okay, friends. Told you it's gonna look like butter. And you see, it's nice and uh, and all beautifully blended together. See, beautiful, 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 beautiful. To make uh, the job for the camera better, I'm gonna remove this guy right there. Get it out of the way. There you go. And now, oh, I should take this two at the same time. Last part of the deal, I gotta forget something. <laughs> All right, so now, friends, we are going to add a flour. We're gonna add the flour. And it helps to have uh, taking a minute to just uh, fluff it up, especially the cocoa powder. And then, friends, we are now going to introduce the egg. The first, uh, the egg white. The first couple of, uh, 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 I'm just going to go in and just fluff it up and not worry too much about it capturing the air bubble. Not gonna worry too much about it. Just wanted to blend everything. And then we're gonna fold the rest. I'm not too concerned about preserving all the air bubble, like, like if I were to make a souffle. Because I don't want the cake to rise too much because I'm going to use it as a roulade, meaning I'm going to roll it. So it can't, can't be too thick at all. So if we kill a few of the air bubble, I don't really care. I'm not making a souffle. I'm not making a chiffon cake. I'm making a roulade. And a roulade is a cake that we're going to roll. So we want it to be fluffy but not thick. And voila. We're almost done. Don't worry about uh, mixing it completely. If you see some streaks of, uh, of, uh, of uh, chocolate in here, don't worry about it. Don't, don't try to make it perfect because then you're really going to kill all the air bubble. We, want, we don't want this cake to be too thick, but we want it to be thick enough. So I got a cookie sheet, friends, ready, lined up. I put a little bit of... Uh, an, uh, a non-stick spray. I use one with flour. Baker's Joy or, or, or pan with flour. You can use butter and put flour in it. But the, the spray works great. Because this, this cake is, is, is a sticker. <laughs> a sticker. That's a new culinary word I teach you here, friends. Uh, it sticks. You'll see. So then we have a, um, what is called an uh, offset spatula. You don't have one of those? Don't worry. And don't try to, uh, to make this perfect because every minute it's on the tray and you're massaging it like I'm doing, you're destroying air bubbles. <laughs> massaging the cake. Boy, I'll tell you, the, the terminology I use, eh? I massage a cake. <laughs> Mamma mia. Imagine the... The, the, the first time subscriber to this channel, they're going to say, these guys are nut. But that's okay, friends. I'm a good nut. Okay, 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 Jean-Pierre, don't mess it up too much. Don't mess it up too much. Okay, it's okay if it's not perfect, because you won't see it. You see? And I don't like to waste anything, so I'm constantly doing this kind of thing. Then it's no good. It makes the cake all bumpy. Okay, one more. Oh, mamma mia. One more thing, my friends, <laughs> that you got to do. Clean the edges. Try to remove the cake from the edges because it's going to stick. I am told you, this is a sticker. So try to remove. I told you I put a piece of parchment paper right with the spray. Yeah, I told you that. I got the oven at 425. It's going to go in there for about 10, 12 minutes. We're going to look at it. I'll show you what I've done after 12 minutes. I'm going to clean all this up and we're gonna get the cake out, all right? Be back in a few minutes. Okay, about 10 minutes, friends. And uh, and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We don't wanna overcook it. 
And uh, how do we know? It's very simple, friends. When you put your hand on it, your hand, your finger, it should bounce back. You see how we did it? Look, look, look. I'll do it. See? Bounce back. Now, of course, you don't want to push too hard because it's not going to bounce back, right? And now all we got to do at this point, we got to stop the cooking process of it. You see, we didn't want it to rise too much. So the fact that we did put a finger in there, see, it, it, it helps. Oh, don't break it. <laughs> it helped uh, the, the fact that we put a finger in there at the beginning, right? Remember when I did that? And then what we do, we take a, uh, a, a little spatula and we grab the paper and we're going to slide it right there, friends, and we're going to let it dry. No, we let it, hey, you, stay. <laughs> they want to stay. All right, all right. See, it's always a little issue. It's nice if uh, you have a, there you go. <laughs> that thing they want to go. Normally, it's nice if you have somebody helping you. Uh, my, my assistant is in vacation. <laughs> all right, friends. I'm gonna let that rest for a second. No, not for a second. I, I got a little cool. A little cool. See, I messed it up a little bit here. Just don't look. We're good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's perfect. All right, we're gonna let it cool. And uh, and right now we don't want to we don't want to manipulate it, friends, too much because uh, it's very fragile. And you see, and we don't want it to be thick. We want it to be exactly like that because we want to roll. And then we're gonna put on the inside a an orange white chocolate buttercream. And on the outside, a dark chocolate buttercream. So we'll be back to do the whole thing. We gotta wait for this to cool first. Okay, friends, we're not gonna make the buttercreams that are gonna go inside. Remember, it's a white chocolate uh, orange buttercream. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. So I got butter. I got butter. And um, remember, I'm gonna give you the exact recipe, but that's eight ounces. We're gonna cream the butter. And what does that mean? That means we're gonna make it soft and we're gonna try to pump some air into it. So it's gonna take a little while, but every so often what you do, you slow down the machine, a good idea, and then you do this. You see, friends? You do this. Right there. Right there, my friends, okay? And you do this. And you clean it, and you come back, and you do it. And you want to cream it up, and hopefully we can make a way it's kind of like, a, not doubles in size, but pump some air into it. You can do it with a whisk, but I find then the, um, the spatula works better. We're going to let it do its thing, okay, friends? And we're going to cream it up. You watch, it's going to turn to a much lighter color as we cream it. We're going to wait a few minutes. Okay, friends, you don't want to go too fast, because if you go too fast, it just splatters all over the side of the bowl. And let's look at it. You see, it's nice and pretty. Like pretty, you see? Look, nice, soft butter. <laughs> Whenever I, I, I do something with butter, I'm happy. All right, so now, like friends, we're gonna put some condensed milk. Very sugary. How much should I put in? You know, I'm gonna make a buttercream for the inside and one for the outside. It's for the inside. I use half of this, um, this kind of, uh, of uh, uh, condensed milk. I like the Goya milk. It's not too uh, sweet. It's got a great consistency to it. But whatever you can find. This is a 14-ounce can. I use half for this one, half for the other half. Half for the other half. <laughs> for the other cr uh, cream. So here we go. All right, friends. Now we're going to put, I have a, um, uh, 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 two ounces of melted white chocolate. We don't want it to be too hot, otherwise our, our buttercream is gonna be too hot. <laughs> so, I always give you some good science lesson. They wanna make it too hot, otherwise it'll be too hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's usually what happens if it's too hot. So look, we're gonna put the, uh, the buttercream in there and we're gonna blend it in. It's not too hot, it's melted. You're gonna have to make it hot enough to melt. You can melt it in a bain marie or you can melt it in a, um, you can melt it in a, um, uh, in a microwave. For, uh, for a few seconds. And now I'm gonna put my condensed milk in there and you see the thickness of it. And, and this is, if you don't have condensed milk, you can, do, uh, you can use a, a, a 10x sugar, confection sugar. And that's gonna give you enough sugar right there, my friends. 
I'm trying to do it on the top so you guys can see it without putting too much on the camera, on the, on the bowl. Otherwise, normally I just open it up and do it. But um, I was trying to show you a pinch of salt. Don't forget, always a pinch of salt, friends. Pinch of salt for je ne sais quoi. For je ne sais quoi. And uh, we're going to put a teaspoon of uh, Tahitian vanilla. And now, friends, we're going to put... Let's mix it up really good. Let's, uh, let's check it really quick, friends. Mix it up really well. And then we're going to put an orange zest in it, friends. And we have ourselves a beautiful... Beautiful. Look, 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 look how beautiful that is, friends. Look how beautiful that is. You see? Now we could pipe it, but we're not going to pipe it. We're going to put it on top inside. And the, and the, um, the uh, um, orange zest, we're going to go right there. Are you guys good with the camera? Perfect. Remember, friends, I said every time, this is how you use a microplane grater. Unless you're doing garlic or ginger, then use it the other way. But this is how you do it, okay? Don't do it like all them ding-dongs out there. Then go like this, and then you look, and they look. <laughs> Here, you don't need to look. It's right there. It's in front of you. You see, like a violin. Like a violin, see? You can put the whole orange. It all depends. If you want your, uh, your buttercream um, to be um, very orangey. I think this is a very big orange. I think half of it is going to be enough. But that's really up to you. If you really like the flavor, flavor of the orange, my friend, then put the whole thing. All right? All I'm going to do now... I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to mix it all up. And now we're going to clean all this up. We're going to mix the whole thing. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do the dark chocolate buttercream. Okay, friends, I started the, um, the, the dark uh, chocolate buttercream to get a little bit of head start. I got uh, a little salt, a pinch of salt, remember? Uh, we're going to put the vanilla, same deal, you know, one teaspoon of vanilla, Tahitian vanilla. We're gonna put uh, the uh, condensed milk. This time I'm gonna do it here so I don't make a big mess. And this time it's dark chocolate, friends. And that's for the outside, huh? So, for the color of the dark chocolate, I'm gonna put in um, um, cocoa powder. And then I'll put some, uh, uh, I'll put some uh, melted chocolate. Okay, and I'll give you the exact match. Measurement will be down in the recipe, friends. The cocoa powder, we're going to put it through a strainer because sometimes it has tendency to lump up on us. So we're going to put it in there. <laughs> Instead of a spoon, I got a bell. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, that makes a lot of noise. I tell you, folks. There you go. That's the more professional. <laughs> That's the more professional, yeah. See, and the, the granulated stuff, I can squeeze them. But I don't want them. So here we go. Let's mix this up slowly now. Otherwise, we'll have a cloud of cocoa powder. The deal with. Now, we're going to put on this one a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. Because if I don't put the powdered sugar, it's not going to be sweet enough. And then I'm going to put the chocolates, the dark chocolate, you see? And this is a 70% cacao dark chocolate that I melted in a microwave, friends. And this, now, the amount of sugar, you know, I don't really care for too much sugar in my desserts. Sometimes I find that desserts are good. You go places and they're so sweet. Then you really can't eat anything. They're too sweet. So it's up to you. You test it, my friends. You test it. You put your finger in there. And you check it to make sure that it's got enough sugar for you. Okay, let's check something really quick. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at it. Is that a beauty or what, my friends? See, look, look, look. It didn't mix all the way through in the bottom. You see, friends? Look, it didn't mix up. Oh, look at this. You can rub this on your body. <laughs> Don't.
don't tell them I said that, okay? Look, uh, this is my friends. This is a beautiful butter cream. You mix it up pretty good. All right, we're gonna get everything ready in the bowl, and then we're gonna put the whole cake together. We got the butter cream ready, we got the cake ready. Look how beautiful that is, you see? We're gonna put all this, this I'm gonna put in a, in a pastry bag. It'll be easier for me to just put it on top of it. Okay, friends, I'll be back in a minute when everything is ready to put the whole cake together. Okay, friends, if you are going to decorate your bûche de Noël with the meringue mushroom, you must do them in advance. Matter of fact, I recommend you make it the day before. Keep them in a dry place. They last two or three days, not a problem at all. Very simple to make, friends. We got two egg white at room temperature. Most important to do that. We're gonna whip them, and we are now going to add a quarter teaspoon of cream de tartare. And the cream de tartare is a stabilizer. And we're gonna put a grain of salt, a few grains of salt. 14 grains of salt, just a little bit. You don't want to test the salt, just want it to be there. It's very important. Okay, as you can see right now, the yellow coloring has gone. It's mostly white, kind of a yellowish white, but we're now gonna add the sugar slowly, okay? Okay, now we're gonna whip them high speed until it's nice and shiny. We should have a perfect meringue with a hot peak. Perfect, this is what we want right here, friends. And now we're ready to make the stems. Okay, we're gonna make the stems. And the stems, you start in the bottom of it, and you go slowly, and up, you got a perfect stems, you see? Perfect stems. And now we're gonna make the cup, and the, 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 the cup. Okay, now we're gonna bake them. I have the oven going at uh, uh, 275 degrees. We're gonna bake them for about um, 45 minutes until they dry, and then we'll come back and we'll fin finish them up. Okay, friends, they are dry, light as a feather. <laughs> they weigh nothing, and they're delicious. So look, friends, you take a little peri knife, you make a little hole in a peri knife. No, no big deal, see, just like this. Make a little hole in there. Then take a little uh, a chocolate, you just melt a little chocolate, you can do it in a microwave. And then you want to paint it, make it like the gill of the, uh, of the mushroom, you see? And then you take it and you put it right here, friends. Right, now you got a mushroom. How cute is that? And then you take your, uh, your cocoa powder, very light, very light, very light, be gentle. And friends, you got yourself a beautiful mushroom. You see, and if you look on the inside, after a minute it's gonna dry, you're gonna have yourself a beautiful mushroom. And that's how you make a meringue mushroom, friends. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, they're delicious. Eat the whole thing. Friends, I hope you make it. Okay, friends, everything's ready. Check out the mushrooms. I will pick them myself. <laughs> the cake is, um, trust me, sticky. Uh, I put it on the cookie sheet. It's easier, and now I'm gonna take it out of the cookie sheet, and I'm just gonna pour here, and then I can work on it on my cutting board, and I'm gonna use the paper that is underneath to roll it, all right? My words are roulade. Roulade come from the word roux, and in French, a roux is a wheel. All right, so here we go, friends. We're gonna put the buttercream right there. And then we're gonna put some fresh strawberries that I cut. And the strawberries, I put them in the, in a strainer, friends. I put them in a strainer. Uh, oh, make sure the buttercream is uh, at room temperature, friends. Soft, okay? You don't want it to be hard, because if it's hard, you're not gonna be able to do what I'm doing right here, see? All right. Now, for those of you that don't want to use butter, uh, maybe there's some of you out there. You can make this with uh, cream cheese. But don't tell them I said so, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can make it with cream cheese. So, a room temperature or mascarpone cheese. You can make a, I can make another cake like that with a mascarpone mix also. That'd be wonderful, my friends. Um, and this is kind of an homage to a, an old pastry chef of mine, Chef Rob. 
great friends of mine. He worked for me for 30 years, worked with me for 35 years. He was my pastry chef at the restaurant. He was also our head instructor at a cooking school for baking and pastries. And, um, and, uh, and I miss him dearly. We lost him last year. And uh, uh, I think of him every time I make this. So here we go. All right, friends. So Chef Rob, may you rest in peace. So here we go, friends. All right, butter. Oh, look how beautiful that is. You like? So you see, when you first take out the cake, you look at it and say, oh, it's a little bumpy. It doesn't look good. You see any bump? <laughs> you see, you can relax. All right, friends. We're out of here with this. We're going to put the strawberries. The strawberries, have you noticed, optional. If you don't have strawberries, don't put them. You don't have them. Uh, you put them on a the strainer. Because otherwise you get that water right there. You see that water right there on the bowl? That water right there on the bowl, it's going to interfere. So I have about a half of a pint of strawberries. You know those little containers they make the strawberries in? They, they, sell, they sell the strawberry in it. I went through about five different batches. I wanted to find some nice firm one. I don't want them to be too ripe, otherwise they're too soft. There's always a issue with this. Can you put some other fruits in there? I always get people asking me this. You can put raspberries out there, I guess, if you wanted to, if they were nice. Um, but that's about it. Now, you don't have to put the fruits. This is one of my interpretation. And I think my dear friend, Chef Rob, is the one that taught me to put strawberries. Because I don't remember my mom putting strawberries in there. So here we go. Now I got strawberry hands. Let me wash them really quick. Now this is the uh, the most important moment of the video, folks. I gotta roll this. It's not complicated, not complicated. The secret, friends, is to make sure the first roll you have is really, really tight. You see right there? Now remember, don't freak out if the paper sticks to it a little bit. It doesn't matter, okay? If it sticks a little bit, which it's a sticky cake, it sticks, you see? When you take it out, it may stick. Remember, don't forget to put a lot of non-stick spray. But even if you put some non-stick spray, it's going to stick. Remember, the roll number two, very tight, friends. Very tight. Don't forget to take the paper out. It don't taste so good. All right, and we're going to continue. You see? Very simple, my friends. See, look. You're making sushi. Here we go. Look, look. A child could do this. Tight, 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 my friends. Very tight. You see, look. Very tight. Very tight, very tight, very tight. You take a broop. Roll it, roll it. You're gonna put this underneath. Then nobody sees it. <laughs> Let me do something really quick, friends. Let me clean up this area. Normally you don't put so much. You don't put so much at the end so that you don't get this mess right there that I just made. So don't put so much at the end. All right, but it's not a problem. Let me get a rag real quick. We're gonna clean this up a little bit, friends. Because, you know, I like to work on a clean surface. I can't stand working on a surface that is not so clean, friends. All right, so let's see what we got. Let me get a nice rag. So far, so good, right? You can all do this. Now let's enroll it. Now, if you have the time, you can take this and you can put it in the fridge. Let it solidify before you decide, my friends, before you decide to decorate it, okay? So you see underneath right there, it's got that. Okay, so I put a little too much buttercream, but you're not gonna see, it's gonna be in the bottom of whatever it is you, you're gonna put it on. Whatever, whatever vessel you're gonna serve it on now, it goes on there, okay? But see, I leave it on there, nobody sees it. It's underneath. You see, it's underneath. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. That's it, that's where it's gonna live now. This is where it's gonna live. Now, if, you, if you're gonna put it on a platter, then move it on the platter. Okay, if you're going to put it on the platter, move it on the platter. All right, now what else do we do now here, friends? Well, we can certainly uh, cut the piece that we're going to put. We're going to put a branch on it. We can cut it now, or we can put a, a, um, a, a line on it. And I put the dark buttercream. And remember, when I, do the, I use the pastry bag, I always do this. So as I put it in, it makes it easy. And we're going to put in... The, the buttercream, the dark buttercream on top. Very simple, you see? Very simple. 
And then we're going to rub it on with the, um, um, with the spatula. Because the side is not going to stay on the side. So let's make sure. And then I am now going to take my spatula that I have right here. And I'm going to put it all on there. And you're going to say, what do you make it smooth? Because then we're going to take a fork. And we're going to see right there, friends. Remember, this is going to stay on the platter. Then you're going to use. Because you're not going to move it. So remember to always do that. See? And it's looking good, friends. Then we're going to cut it. And then we're going to glue your see. We're going to make a branch. The idea is to make it look like a branch, friends. The idea is to make it look like a branch. Like a U log. Like a log. Like a wood log, you see? So you can take your time. Well, I am going to take my time. Because uh, I got to make it look perfect. Right? I got to look perfect because you guys are looking and say, hey, can I make this? Yeah, you can make it. Look, I haven't done anything complicated, right? You all agree with me? I didn't do anything complicated. What do you think? Did I cover the base here? Yeah. All right. So rough, we don't do it perfect. Piece of wood is never perfect, right? Piece of wood is never perfect, friends. All right, and on the other side, we're still looking good. Let me put this right here. So now we're gonna cut the piece. Not sure this is the right knife. We're gonna cut the piece. Let me cut the end first. I'm gonna cut my end first. You see, you could certainly wait a little bit, friends, because if you wait a little bit, it's not as soft. I should have waited just a little bit longer, but it's okay. We're gonna cut the piece right there. And then we're going to take this piece, friends, and we're going to fix all that buttercream right there. Okay. We're going to fix all this. It's a little messy at this point, but that's part of the deal. That's why we have a sink in the kitchen. And now we're going to take the pastry cream, and we're going to finish making it look pretty. The pastry cream. The buttercream. That's why we got some right there. Now we're going to fix them. We're going to make pretty. So we're going to... I sure the, um, the branch right there. We're gonna put some more of the chocolate. Oh, 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 well, that's uh, interesting right there. I hope we can fix that. All right, now we're gonna fix it. This is why we got the tool here for, you see? That buttercream, hey, you strawberries. Get out of here. We're gonna make it look pretty. You see, that's part of a branch right there. This is our branch right there, you see? Make it look pretty. Voila. And then we're gonna decorate it. We're gonna take a fork and we're gonna finish it. This is the building of it. You know, when you first build the house, it doesn't look so pretty until you finish it. We're gonna put more buttercream right here to cover this end. And then we're gonna cover this end right there. A little more buttercream. And now we're gonna decorate it with a fork and I'll show you how we do that. Now we're gonna make it look like a piece of wood, okay? All right, we're looking good. It's got everywhere, we don't miss anything. Let's clean up this. I still got a piece of strawberry in here. All right, now let me get a fork. And the fork is gonna mimic the branches. You see? There you go. Now we're starting to look good. Now we're starting to look more like a branch, eh? You see, friends? All right, and voila, let me see how it looks over there, needs a little more design right there, all right, now, 
however we want to do it in here doesn't matter really i like to just do it this way now we're going to finish decorating friends okay so well i just had enough uh a butter cream, eh? So now, friends, we're going to put some uh, decorations. I like to use rosemary because I think rosemary is kind of pretty in it. If you put it in a bit of the sugar, it works great. Now you take also cranberries. You take the cranberry, you get them a little wet, not too much wet, you see? Then you put them in sugar, and then you put them here like that. So they look like they got snow on it. Not snow, yeah, ice. You see? You put a few cranberries in here just like this. Take your time. Not as a, don't be in so much of a rush like I am. Oh, put them, oh, I forgot to put them in here. See? Put them a little bit in sugar. Right there, let me clean up my mess right here, friends. I'm not decorating the other side, but I will in a minute. Let me wash my hand one more time. It's a little messy. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's continue. Uh, so you can decorate all of it right here, and of course it's mushroom time. Those mushrooms are gonna make it so Christmassy. You see, friends, that's the whole idea, right? You can put a mushroom over there. You can make them come out of it wherever you want, however you want it. It's very uh, oh well. <laughs> this one I'll have to eat it. They're very fragile. <laughs> there you go. Put them together right there. They grew together. And then one more thing. Uh, one more thing, Frank, we can put a little more green in there, I think. I think it'll look pretty. And I tell you what, I love the smell of rosemary. And then we're going to put a little bit of snow on there, friends. This is a little bit of snow. And my friends, right there, you got a beautiful biche de Noël. And voila! Okay, friends. I hope, let me get rid of everything right here so the camera can get a good look. And we have ourselves a beautiful, how about right there? Beautiful angle. What do you think, Jack? <laughs> I moved this camera. What do you think? Nice, beautiful, Merry Christmas. This is Bush de Noel, friends. I know it's a little involved, but it is what it is. I hope you enjoy. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. You all have an amazing Christmas. Well, you didn't think I was going to cut it. Oh, yes, I am going to cut it. So now I finished decorating. See, I took a little more time, put a little snow in there, and just made it look nice and pretty, put the mushroom in there at the right place. So now I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it, friends. And, oh, I, I almost forgot to tell you, make sure, friends, then you put it in the fridge because if you don't, it's going to be tough to cut. If it's too soft, everything is too soft. It's not going to look pretty, if you will. And, uh, and, and, and then one more thing. Well, after you cut the slices, you should do when it's cold. Cut the slices, but let them rest because you want to let the buttercream to get to room temperature again. It's soft. It's so much better because if butter is cold, you don't test it. So you have to let it get. So you cut the slices and tell everybody, don't touch it for like a half hour, all right? So we're gonna cut a piece out, and you'll see it's beautiful, you see? Now the first slice is, is not always perfect, but uh, huh, it's gonna be perfect for me, you see? And the buttercream is not very cold, I just left it in, a, in, the, in the refrigerator just for an hour or so, but you can leave a little bit longer. And, and you see, friends, it's beautiful, moist, the cake, see the cake is not, dry at all uh this is this is perfect friend this is beautiful and uh and let me tell you you'll test this you'll go oh my lord <laughs> oh i could eat the whole thing matter of fact i am it is amazing friends mm. oh it really is fantastic I hope you make it. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing Christmas, friends, because this is a really beautiful Christmas dessert. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. We'll see you soon with another fantastic video.